Okay, for this dish we're going to be baking red red veggie bake with a, a sweet glaze. So I wanted to show you this because some people think when they see their honey has gone candied, that's the end of it, they can't use it. But this is quite acceptable because when you pop it into the microwave, very gently, it just melts and comes back to honey again. So our first little step that we're going to do is I've got a soup spoon full of honey, candied honey, that I'm going to give 20 seconds in the microwave. Now as you can see, the honey's melted and it's come back to honey. All that sugary honey is dissolved. So I'm going to add to that a heap dessert spoon of brown sugar. And using my mini whisk, let's get that stirring. I want to try and dissolve the sugar if I can. going to need a little bit longer in the microwave so another 15 seconds we don't want it boiling it's looking good okay now I'm just going to have I've got sweet potato pumpkin and carrot that are going into my bowl that's, that's been greased as well. Now we want to get as much of that vegetable underneath as we can, so I'll just make those a bit smaller. And then I'm going to pour over the sweet glaze. doesn't matter if they're not all covered because halfway through cooking we're going to give them a little stir. And we're going to sprinkle them with already toasted sesame seeds. And they're going to go into a 200 degree oven for 15 minutes to start with and then we'll give them a stir and put them in for longer. After the initial 15 minutes I took the veggies out and I tipped them into here so I could get a good covering of the sauce over the top. I then returned the veggies to the oven but I covered them in alfoil to keep the steam going through the veggies so they didn't dry out too much. These veggies take a fair while to cook, they take about an hour in the oven to bake and every 15 minutes I've been getting them out, tipping them into my bowl, giving them a stir to coat them well with the sauce, then I cover them and put them back in the oven so they don't burn. Okay, so as you can see the dish is quite messy. This is the dish we cook in, it's not the dish we're going to serve in. So I'm going to transfer the vegetables over into a nicer looking dish and then all they need is to reheat um, when you're ready to eat.